Hey, this is Judge and Waits bringing you another Black Ops 2 video, and this is more an informational video. I wanted to talk to you today about weapon statistics. In particular, I'm taking a look at the assault rifles in Black Ops 2. Now, those in-game guides, I find them to be very lacking in the information that they provide. So I wanted to provide you this chart and show you all the actual statistics for each weapon. Now, I have the assault rifles grouped in how they fire. So I've got the fully automatic weapons up top. You have the MTAR all the way down to the M27. And then I have your burst fire weapons in the middle and your semi-automatic weapons on the bottom. Now, uh, with the fully automatic weapons, I've also got them grouped according to damage. That way you can see, you know, how the higher damage weapons, you know, compare to the other higher damage weapons and lower to the lower. And usually that's how Call of Duty does it. They have, you know, the higher damage weapons shooting a little bit slower than the lower damage weapons. So I wanted to take a look at these and kind of go through everything. Now, starting with the higher damage weapons right here, the MTAR, the SCAR-H, and the AM-94, you can see that uh, the amount of ammo that they come in a clip is all the same. You know, whether it's a clip or the extended clip, you're going to see no real advantage in any one of those. The same with damage. They're all doing 40 damage up front and or you know up close and 24 damage at a distance now that distance changes for where that switches and i'll talk to you know in a little bit about that going to the rpm though you're going to see the mtar is going to shoot faster it's going to spit out bullets faster than the scar h and the an94 now i just hit level 40 and i noticed that the scar h that thing seems like it shoots really slow it's like that 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 probably a little bit faster than that but it would it would appear that the mtar has an advantage over the scar h and the an94 and that's going to be a little bit true you know up close you're going to be shooting out bullets faster you're going to kill people faster but you have to take into consideration the kill range right kill range is the range at which the number of bullets can actually drop somebody so if you see all these assault rifles that are fully automatic they're only doing 40 damage so two bullets two bullets won't normally kill somebody now that might change if you get a headshot and everything like that but um, now here's the range at which three bullets will kill somebody so here is where the scar h and the an94 have an advantage over the mtar the the mtar is only going to be killing people with three bullets up to this 45 units all right now on the other hand the scar h is going to be killing people with three bullets at a much further distance so it keeps its max damage longer at a longer range than the mtar so the mtar has the advantage that it shoots faster but the scar h has the advantage that it's going to kill people at a longer distance and you can see that you know continue on here five shots with any of these it's going to kill somebody regardless now hip spread they're all pretty similar you're aiming in and out with your weapon they're all the same as well um, your raise and drop times are only slightly different i don't know why that's a 0.68 and that's a 0.7 but you can see that all these are pretty similar your your reload times are all pretty similar as well the mtar and the an94 reload a hair quicker than the scar h you know and you can see if this is you know your reload if you have any ammo ammunition left and this is your reload if you're totally empty so now um, if you look at the fully automatic ones that are lower damage you know you can see that the type 25 is going to be firing a lot faster than the m27 and they have the same kill range and everything like that so does that mean that the type 25 is a better weapon well yes and no you know it shoots faster but that could be a good thing or a bad thing and that could run you out of ammo faster you know or make it hard to correct or you know move your gun once you start shooting so you really got to play around with it but i think you can see you know get an idea of how the different weapons compare to each other um, going over here i don't see too many differences except for the m27 is going to reload faster so that's an advantage for the m27 now here's the three round and four round burst weapons this is kind of cool that we've got a four round burst weapon you know you can see that it's doing 35 damage um, so it's only going to take three bullets to drop somebody you know three out of the four and the same with the swat 556 that obviously is doing you know a higher damage take a look at the kill range though boy the swat 556 is doing a lot further you know it's keeping that higher damage at a you know greater distance so i'm liking the swat 556 compared to the m8 a1 um, and here are all the other statistics the swat 556 seems like it reloads faster 
So I'd probably rate that as a better weapon than this M8A1. Uh, but that might be a mistake because you have to take into account that the M8 fires almost twice as fast as the SWAT 5.56. So that's why it's really important to take a look at everything. Now here's the semi-automatic ones. You can see that you get more, more ammo with the FAL and um, it does a little bit higher damage. Now, you know, two shots regardless is going to kill somebody, so I don't know how important it is to have that 55 unless you're actually shooting through something, you know, or something like that. Now, though, look at the kill range, though. The SMR is going to kill people at a further range with two shots. Three shots, no matter where, it's going to drop somebody. So the SMR has the advantage over the foul with the kill range. Um, seems like it has a little bit higher hip spread, though, but I don't know how many times you're going to be firing it from the hip. And if you look at the other statistics, um, I think I already said this, but the FAL reloads a little bit faster. But um, hope this helps you out. Make sure you check it out. You know, look at all the different things. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll have all the other different weapon statistics guides for like the, you know, pistols and the sniper rifles and everything like that. And you can check them out and actually compare what the actual damage is. Now, keep in mind, this is as of date of release. So if they change a weapon, if they nerf one or something like that, obviously this is going to change and not be totally accurate. But I'll try to post that in the description of these videos if there are any changes or put up a little annotation or something like that. But hope you like this. As always, guys, take care and God bless.